Hare Krishna. Okay, well, here we are. With Des. And how, so you, are you in Bersk or Novosibirsk? <laughs> I am in Novosibirsk. Yes. So this is for Novosibirsk or Bersk or just uh, everybody? It's, uh, it's for Bersk devotees mainly. And as usual, when something interesting in Bersk, then the devotees from Novosibirsk also come. So that's the same situation. So, so okay. Um, so so will we will we do it the usual way, sort of sentence by sentence, or will we do it simultaneous? Uh, we we can try to do it simultaneously, and uh, okay. and we can find how devotees will hear because there's both uh, voices together, and so how they can digest it, we'll see. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. And your vo voice is louder. Yeah, maybe. Like, I have a mic with me, just in front of my... And I, I have see. Uh, iPhones uh, that I can I can hear you. Otherwise, we can just do it, you know, one sentence at a time. I I don't mind really. That's also nice. <laughs> okay, I guess uh, let's let's do it that way. Okay. And how? Yeah. All right. All right. So here we go. Nama Om Vishnu Padai Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shamati Bhakti Vedanta Swamaniti Namane Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharne Nair Vishesha Shunyavadi Pascha Chade Shatane Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunichananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sati Gora Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Vanchakapa Tribius Chakripa Sindhu Pyevacha Paditanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Hare Krishna devotees. Hare Krishna Prayana. How are you all? Как вы все поживаете? I think you know what I think I may do. Or what do you think? Should should I turn off my my video? Как вы считаете, что мне нужно сделать? Мне выключить мое видео? Yeah, yes, Priscil. Verse actually. Ah, well, what do you mean by? <laughs> well, it's just it's a question of bandwidth. You you understand the term bandwidth, right? Uh, not so clear. So the the amount of data which has to pass on the internet. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Let, let's try with video. Yes. And if it becomes difficult, I'll just turn off the video and, and we'll just use audio from me. Okay. In, into the system. All right. So, devotees, uh, you know, here, at least here in South Africa, I don't know about in Novosibirsk or Beritsk, but here in South Africa, uh, tomorrow is the disappearance day of um, Ramananda Roy. Так, преданные не знаю, как у вас, но как у вас в Сибири, а у нас в Южной Африке завтра будет день ухода Рамананда Рай. Actually, in Nova, in Nova Sibirsk, I think it's the day after tomorrow. 
Но в Новосибирске, мне кажется, это событие произойдет послезавтра. Ага, вторник. Но, в любом случае, это хорошо. Да. So yeah, Ramananda Roy is one of the very important associates of Lord Chaitanya. Ramananda Roy is a very important spokesman of Lord Chaitanya. And there's, it's in in the eighth chapter of Majjhila. There's this really amazing conversation between Lord Chaitanya and Ramananda Roy. И в восьмой главе Матья Лилы приводится удивительный разговор или беседа между Господом Читани и Романом И для начала я прочитаю первый стих из Матья Лилы, из этой восьмой главы. Санчарья Рама Бида Бхакта Меге Ства Бхакти Сиданта Чарлам Ритани Горабди Рейтайр Амуна Витир Найс Тадж Гьятва Ратна Лайатам Прайати Шри Чайтани Махапрабху, who is known as Горанга, is the ocean of all conclusive knowledge in devotional service. Господь Читания, который известен под именем Гауранга, является uh, знатоком всех заключительных знаний о предном служении. Uh, he empowered Sri Ramananda Roy, who may be likened to a cloud of devotional service. И он уполномочил Рамананда Рая, который является облаком предного служения. This cloud was filled with the water of all the conclusive purports of devotional service. Well, yeah, with the water of all the conclusive purports of devotional service. And was empowered by the ocean to spread this water over the sea of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. Well, not cherries, but over the sea. He ran. Am I, am I missing you up there? <laughs> That's the danger of having someone who half knows Russian. <laughs> But the thing is, he, he spread the water from Lord Chaitanya over Lord Chaitanya. Thus, the ocean of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became filled with the jewels of the knowledge of pure devotional service. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ki Jai. Okay, so just first of all, little bit of background to this whole story. И сначала я расскажу немного предысторию. Um, Lord Chaitanya, when he first went to Jagannath Puri, he met Savabhama Bhattacharya. Когда Господь Чайтанья пришел в Джаганатх Пури, вначале он встретился с Сарвабхамой Бхаттачарьей. And at some point after a little while, Lord Chaitanya decided he wanted to tour um, South India. И через какое-то время Господь Читания решил, что ему нужно посетить Южную Индию. So when, when Sadha Boma Bhattacharya heard about this, he told Lord Chaitanya, while you're there, you must meet uh, Ramananda Roy. 
И когда Сарабам Батачари узнал об этом, он сказал, что во время этого путешествия тебе обязательно нужно встретиться с Рамананда Раем. Because this Ramananda Roy, he knows more about Krishna consciousness than anyone. Поскольку этот Рамананда Рой знает о сознании Кришны больше, чем кто-либо еще. Okay, so, so then Lord Chaitanya began his tour. И тогда Господь Чайтанья начал свое путешествие. So he was down in South, uh, South India uh, by the river Godavari. И он находился в Южной Индии неподалеку, неподалеку от реки Годавари. And while he was uh, well, taking bath and just well, relaxing and remembering Vrindavan there, um, когда... Roy arrived. И когда он отдыхал там, вспоминал Вриндаван, туда пришел Рамананда Рой. And Ramananda Roy came with a whole party of people. И Рамананда Рой пришел вместе с группой людей. There were many Brahmins who were chanting Vedic mantras. There's a whole lot of musicians who are playing different types of music. And Ramananda Roy himself was being carried on a palanquin. So they all arrived and they didn't they hadn't seen Lord Chaitanya yet. So Ramananda Roy got out from the palanquin and he took bath in the Godavari. And while watching all of this, Lord Chaitanya understood. This is him. This is Ramananda Roy. So, so Lord Chaitanya stood up. And Ramananda Roy, who had just finished his bath, he saw Lord Chaitanya. And Chaitanya Charitamrita says that when he saw Lord Chaitanya, the Lord looked as brilliant as a hundred suns. Suns, yeah. Uh, the Lord was, of course, wearing saffron clothes. He was very large in body and very strongly built. And Lord Chaitanya's eyes were just like lotus petals. So when Ramananda Roy saw him, he became, what we say, on Udavilsa. He was struck with wonder. Uda Vilsa, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. So he went up to Lord Chaitanya and offered full dandavas just falling on the on the ground like a rod. So then Lord Chaitanya picked him up and asked, Are you Ramananda Roy? And Ramananda replied, uh, Ramananda Roy replied that yes, I am your low servant. I am a member of the Sudra community. Uh, yeah, Vashpachi Slugada, Pachaya. And I belong to the Sudra community. So then Lord Chaitanya just grabbed Ramananda Roy and just embraced Ramananda Roy. And 
And then both the Lord and Ramananda Roy lost consciousness and just fell down to the ground together. So Prabhupada, in one of the purports to these few, these are verses that we just read, um, he explains Ramananda Roy is in Krishna Lila is Vishaka. Yeah, so, so there's a natural awakening of, because Lord Chaitanya's Krishna, there was a natural awakening of love between them. So when they embraced, all the ec ecstatic symptoms manifested. Paralysis and perspiration. Tears and shivering. Paleness of the body and standing up of the bodily hairs. And the word Krishna was con constantly coming out of their mouths, but in a faltering voice. So then after a while they came back, well, you know what the, uh, the um, Chaitanya Charitamrita says? Uh, it says, what does it say? That when they regained their sanity, they sat down and Lord Chaitanya addressed him. И знаете, что написано в читании Чиритамрити, что они, когда они вернулись как бы, в рассудительное состояние, Господь Читания обратился к And, uh, yes, and Lord Chaitanya told him, I was told about you by Sarvabhama Bhattacharya. И Господь Читания сказал, мне говорил о тебе Сарвабхама Бхаттачарья. Yes. So, uh, what happened now? Yeah. Okay, then uh, let's see. Then, then Ramananda Roy said, "My dear sir, I can tell you are the supreme personality of God here." And Lord Chaitanya said, "You are the best of the topmost devotees." Господь Читания сказал, ты являешься самым лучшим среди всех преданных. И затем очень интересная произошла ситуация. Они сели вместе, и Господь Читания сказал, Раманандира, я хочу задать тебе вопросы. И Раманандира Рой протестировал, что You ask me questions. You're the Supreme Lord. I must ask you questions. И Роман Андрей начал протестовать. Он говорил, что ты верховная личность Бога, поэтому да я должен задавать тебе вопросы. So, but anyway, Lord Chaitanya would not accept that. He insisted on asking Roman and Roy questions. Но Господь Читания не согласился с этим и стал настаивать, что именно он будет задавать вопросы Роман and Roy. So Lord Chaitanya, there, there were, uh, let's just check, 15 questions or 14, 14 questions. И Господь Читания задал 14 вопросов. Okay, so let's go through those questions. Давайте все их озвучим. First of all, Lord Chaitanya said, recite a verse from the revealed scriptures concerning the ultimate goal of life. И вначале Господь сказал, найди цитату из Шастра, которая бы говорила о конечной цели жизни. Ramananda Roy immediately replied, if you follow your duties according to Van Ashram, then... Uh, you awaken your Krishna consciousness. 
И Господь Читания сказал, и Романа Дарай сказал, если ты будешь следовать предписанным обязанностям, то ты, вы, то ты обретешь сознание Кришны. And he quoted a verse from Srimad Bhagavatam. И он процитировал стих из Шримад Бхагаватам. Which I'm for, well, I have the translation. It's, it's the verse Varnashrama Charitava something, something, something. The Supreme Personality of, Lord, of Godhead, Lord Vishnu, is worshipped by the proper execution of prescribed duties in Varnashram. There's no other way to satisfy the Supreme Lord. So that's a verse. It's a verse from Srimad Bhagavatam. But Lord Chaitanya was not satisfied. The Lord said, no, no, this is external. You'd better tell me about some other, other process. Лучше скажи мне какой-нибудь другой процесс. And Ramananda Roy replied, to offer the results of your activities to Krishna is the essence of perfection. И Господь Ramananda Roy сказал, предлагать плоды своего труда Кришне – это высшее совершенство. And he quoted a verse from Bhagavad Gita. И он процитировал стих из Бхагавад Гиты. Do you know Вы знаете стих 9.27? Нама Рупа? Может быть, ему Наприя знает. Let's just say. Oh, look, there's... I'm seeing who there is. Oh, look, Ishvari Rani's there. And Arjuna Sakaprabhu and his wife. Iyavo Jana. Ipadma Gopi. Amala Harinam. Krishna Shakti. Kishori Kund. Itagdali Tagdali. Anyway, it's okay. I'll tell you the, the verse. It's, it's, uh, it's um, yeah, 927. Yat Kuroshi Yadash Nasi, Yat Tahosi Dadasi Yat, Yat Tapasyasi Konteya, Tat Kurushva Mad Arpanam. My dear son of Kunti. My dear son of Kunti. Whatever you do. Все, что бы ты ни делал. Whatever you eat. Все, что бы ты ни ел. Whatever you offer in sacrifice. Все, что бы ты ни отдавал в жертвоприношение. Whatever you give in charity. Все бы, что ты ни давал, как пожертвование. And whatever austerities you perform. И через какие аскезы ты бы не проходил. All the results of such activities should be offered to me. Делай все это как по отношению мне. Yes, that's, so that's Krishna speaking, of course. Конечно, And it's a famous verse in Bhagavad Gita. Is Vesni Stik. But Lord Chaitanya again was not satisfied. So Lord Chaitanya said, no, this is also external. И Господь Читания сказал, нет, это тоже внешне. Please proceed further and speak more on this matter. Да, пожалуйста, продолжай дальше и говори дальше на эту тему. Когда Раман сказал, оставить свои долги в системе является совершенством. And he quoted Bhagavad Gita 1866. Do you know what's 1866? Uh, 
someone knows. It's the most famous verse. If you know any verse, you must know that verse. Sarva Dharman Paricha Jam Mame Kam Sharanam Braja Aham Tam Sarva Pape Bio Moksha Yishami Mashucha Ha, which Prabhupada gives a sort of different translation here in Chaitanya Charitamrita. If you come to me, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, after giving up all kinds of religious and occupational duties, and if you take shelter of me, I will give you protection from all of life's sinful reactions. Do not worry. So that's a pretty good verse, you know. So many devotees know this verse. I, this is the first verse I ever learned. First verse was Hare Krishna Mantra, anyway. So, so you might think, yes, Ramananda Roy, he's given the right answer at last. But Lord Chaitanya was not satisfied. He said, he, re, he rejected his statement and said, go ahead and say something more. So Ramananda Roy said, all right, devotional service mixed with empiric knowledge is the essence of perfection. And he quoted what is the verse number? Is it 1856 or something? But Penny said, Shaste, Moshe Beach, yes, sir, Bill. But anyway, it's a famous verse. Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma, Nasho Chati Nakangshati, Samaksaraveshu Bhuteshu, Madbhaktim Labate Haram. What verse is, number is that, Arjuna Saka? I'm sorry for interrupting. 54. 54. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, so then Ramananda Roy gave the translation. He said, according to Bhagavad Gita, one who is thus transcendentally situated at once realizes the Supreme Brahman and becomes fully joyful. He never laments or desires to have anything. He's equally disposed towards every living entity. And in that state, he attains pure devotional service unto me. Wow, that sounds pretty good. Unfortunately, Lord Chaitanya did not accept it. So, so there have been four sort of questions or requests, I guess you could say requests, by Lord Chaitanya so far, four of them. И вот на сегодняшний момент у нас уже есть четыре вопроса от Господа Читания. Или просьбы, да? Четыре просьбы. Окей. Теперь пятый. 
There, there are 14. So after hearing this, the Lord, as usual, rejected it. He said, I consider this to be external devotional service. Please speak further. Ramananda Roy replied, pure devotional service without any touch of speculative knowledge is the essence of perfection. And he quoted a verse spoken by Lord Brahma. My dear Lord, those devotees have thrown away the impersonal conception of the absolute truth. And have therefore abandoned discussing empirical philosophical truth. Should hear from self-realized devotees about your holy name, form, pastimes, and qualities. They should completely follow the principles of devotional service. And remain free from illicit sex, gambling, intoxication, and animal slaughter. Surrendering themselves fully with body, words, and mind, they can live in any ashram or social status. Or social status. Yeah, okay. kind of status. Indeed, you are conquered by such persons. Although you are always unconquerable. So that's the fifth request. Lord Chaitanya smiled. So far, he hasn't, hasn't smiled at all. This was the first time. And he said, Lord Chaitanya said, this is all right. But still you can speak more on the subject. So Ramananda Roy then replied, ecstatic love for the Supreme Personality of Godhead through sadhana bhakti is the essence of all perfection. And he quoted, he actually quoted a couple of verses. This is just one of them. Pure devotional service in Krishna consciousness cannot be had even by pious activity in hundreds and thousands of lives. Cannot be had even by pious activity in hundreds and thousands of lives. It can be attained only by paying one price. That is intense greed to obtain it. If it is available somewhere, 
one must purchase it without delay. Если она где-то доступна, нужно тут же купить ее без всякой задержки. So again, Lord Chaitanya smiled. И снова Господь Чайтанья улыбнулся. And he said, because this is coming, bringing us to the point, you know, sadhana bhakti, uh, vaidhi sadhana bhakti, and this verse here was about raganuga sadhana, sadhana bhakti. Поскольку uh, vaidhi sadhana bhakti и этот стих, где описан рагануга sadhana bhakti. There, there were two verses. The other verse was about vaidhi sadhana bhakti. А другой стих там говорится о vaidhi sadhana. Okay, so um, now we come to the seventh request. И теперь мы приходим к седьмой просьбе. So hearing up to the point of spontaneous love, the Lord said, this is all right. Услышав по спонтанной преданности, спонтанной любви Господу, Господь Шерин сказал, что это хорошо. But if you know something more, please tell me. Но если ты знаешь что-то больше, пожалуйста, скажи мне. So Ramananda Roy then replied, spontaneous loving service in servitude as between master and servant is the highest perfection. И Господь Ramananda Roy сказал, спонтанное любовное служение в отношениях слуги господина является совершенством. And uh, he quoted a verse, let's say, it's, it appears in Chaitanya Charitamrita, but it's actually from Yamuna Charya. By serving you constantly, by serving you constantly, one is freed from all material desires. Человек освобождается от всех материальных желаний. And one is completely pacified. И становится полностью умиротворенным. When shall I engage as your permanent eternal servant? Когда же я буду вовлечен в постоянное преданное служение тебе? And always feel joyful to have such a perfect master. И всегда чувствовать радость от того, что у меня такой совершенный господин. Of course, this is devotional, pure devotional service in Dasya Ras. Конечно же, это чистое преданное служение в Dasya Ras. So hearing this, Lord Chaitanya then said, uh, please go a step further. Услышав это, Господь Чайтанья сказал, продолжай, пожалуйста, скажи следующий шаг. And in reply, Ramananda Roy said, loving service to Krishna Rendered in friendship is the highest perfection. И тогда Рамананда Рай сказал, что высшим совершенством является любовное служение в дружбе с Кришной. And he quoted a verse from 10th canto Srimad Bhagavatam. И он процитировал стих из 10-й песни Srimad Bhagavatam. Neither those engaged in self-realization by appreciating the Brahman effulgence, nor those engaged in devotional service accepting the Lord as Master, nor those under the clutches of Maya, thinking the Lord to be an ordinary person. So none of these people can understand, understand that certain exalted personalities after they've accumulated volumes of pious activity, are now playing with the Lord in friendship as cowherd boys. It's a very famous verse. 
It finishes up Krita Krita Punya Punja. What pious activities did these cowherd boys do before? So now comes the ninth request. The Lord said, actually, this statement is very good. But please proceed even further. So Ramananda Roy replied, loving service to the Lord in the parental relationship is the highest perfectional stage. And he quoted two verses, really nice verses. Oh, Brahman, what pious activities did Nanda Maharaj perform? О, Браман, какие благочестивые дела совершал Анда Махарадж? By which he received the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna as his son. Благодаря которым он получил к себе сыновья Верховного Личности Бога Шри Кришна. And what pious activities did Mother Yashoda perform? А какие благочестивые поступки совершала Мама Яшода? that made the Supreme Absolute Truth, Krishna, call her mother and suck her breasts. So that's one verse. Here's the second verse. The favor Mother Yashoda obtained from Sri Krishna who Krishna, who is the bestower of liberation, that favor was never obtained even by Lord Brahma or Lord Shiva. Nor even by the goddess of fortune. Who always remains on the chest of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And now comes the tenth request. Don't forget there are 14, so there's another five to go. So Lord Chaitanya said, actually your statement, your statements are, are certainly getting better and better one after the other. But surpassing all of them is another transcendental mellow. And you can speak of that as the most sublime. So Ramananda Roy replied, conjugal attachment for Krishna is the topmost position in love of Godhead. And in order to sort of, uh, you know, make it clear, he spoke seven verses. We will just read one of them. Uh, it's from Srimad Bhagavatam. When Lord Sri Krishna was dancing with the gopis in the Rasa Leela, the gopis were embraced around the neck by the Lord's arms. This transcendental favor was never bestowed upon the goddess of fortune. And transcendental favor was never bestowed upon the goddess of fortune. 
all the other consorts in the spiritual world. Never was such a thing ever imagined by the most beautiful girls in the heavenly planets. Girls whose bodily luster and aroma resemble the beauty and fragrance of lotus flowers. And, and what to speak of worldly women from Novosibirsk and Bersk. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Sorry. <laughs> you may be very, very beautiful according to material estimation. So Lord Chaitanya, finally now Lord Chaitanya is satisfied. And he says, certainly this is the limit of perfection. But please be merciful to, to me and speak more if there is more. And Ramananda Roy replied, Until this day, I did not know anyone within this material world who could inquire beyond this stage of devotional service. But anyway, he continued. Among the loving affairs of the gopis, Srimati Radharani's love for Sri Krishna is topmost. Indeed, the glories of Srimati Radharani are highly esteemed in all revealed scriptures. And then Ramananda Roy quoted a verse from the pastime where Krishna leaves the gopis in the Rasa dance. Dear friends, the gopi who's, who's been taken away by Krishna to a secluded place. Must have been, must have worshipped the Lord more than anyone else. And Lord Chaitanya said, please speak on. I'm very happy to hear you. Because a river of unprecedented nectar is flowing from your mouth. So Ramananda spoke another verse. During the Rasadan, Sri Krishna did not exchange loving affairs with Srimati Radharani. Uh, due to the presence of the other gopis. Because of the dependence of the others. The intensity of love between Radha and Krishna was not manifest. Therefore, he stole her away to, to manifest his real love. Oh, then Ramananda Roy quotes a whole lot of verses. Uh, 
so then, after that, Lord Chaitanya put another request. И тогда после этого Господь Читания сказал следующую просьбу. Now I've come to understand the sublime goal of life. Теперь я начинаю понимать высшую цель жизни. And the process of achieving it. И процесс достижения этой цели. However, I think that there is something more ahead. Однако я считаю, что есть что-то и впереди. And my mind is desiring to have it. И мой ум желает услышать это. Please explain the transcendental features of Krishna and Radharani. Пожалуйста, опиши трансцендентные качества или характеристики Кришны и Шимати Радхарани. Also explain the truth of transcendental rasa. And the transcendental form of love of Godhead. And Ramananda Roy said, I don't know anything about this. I simply vibrate the sound you make me speak. Я произношу просто те слова, которые ты вкладываешь в мои уста. You inspire me within the heart and make me speak with the tongue. Ты вдохновляешь меня из сердца и заставляешь меня говорить языком. I don't know whether I'm speaking well or badly. Я не знаю, хорошо я говорю или плохо. Then Ramananda Roy does a very interesting thing. И затем Раманан Дарай сделал очень удивительную вещь. He briefly tells the story of um, Mahavishnu stealing the sons of the Brahmin from Dwaraka. Он вкратце рассказал историю о том, как Махавишну похитил детей Брамана из Двараки. And then Krishna takes Arjuna and they both go to visit Mahavishnu to take the sons back. And, Lord, and Mahavishnu says, I, I, took, I brought the sons of the Brahmins, Brahmin here because I wanted to see both of you. И Махавишну сказал, я принес сюда или привел сюда детей Брамана просто для того, чтобы увидеть вас обоих. Both of you have appeared in the material world to re-establish religious principles. Вы оба пришли в материальный мир, чтобы установить много религиозных принципов. After killing all the demons, please quickly return to the spiritual world. И после того, как вы убьете всех демонов, пожалуйста, возвращайтесь в духовный мир. So what Ramananda Roy is doing now, he's describing the features, amazing features of Krishna. И что сейчас Ramananda Roy делает? Он начинает описывать удивительные качества Кришны. Uh, yeah, so... And then Ramananda Roy, so he makes the point, Krishna is so attractive, he even attracts Mahavishnu. And then he quotes another verse. Krishna is in his palace in Dwaraka. And he sees his own reflection in a pillar in his palace. And Krishna then says, Alas, I've never seen such a person before. Who is he? Just by seeing him, I've become eager to embrace him Exactly like Radharani. So in other words, Krishna is supremely beautiful. And then he speaks a whole lot of verses, actually, about the uh, position of Srimati Radharani. 
И дальше Романангарой начал цитировать другие стихи, где говорилось о положении Шримати Радарани. The body of Shrimati Radharani is the transformation, the complete transformation of love of Godhead. Тело Шримати Радхарани является совершенной трансформацией любви к Богу. That supreme ecstasy of Radharani is the essence of spiritual life. Transcendental, what on earth? Uh, the supreme ecstasy of Radharani is the essence of spiritual life. Her only business is to fulfill all the desires of Krishna. So anyway, you can go through, there's a whole lot of verses and things there. Yeah, wow. So then Lord Chaitanya replied. Now I've come to understand the truth of the loving affairs between Radha and Krishna. Сейчас я понял трансцендентную истину в отношениях Радхи и Кришны. Still I want to hear how both of them enjoy such love. И все равно я хочу слышать о том, как эти две личности наслаждаются отношениями любви друг с другом. Anyway, it's getting pretty high level. Это становится очень высоким уровнем. Рамананда Рой explains how Krishna is Dira Lalita. He, always, he can always keep his girlfriends under control. Lord Chaitanya said, that's all right, but please continue. And Ramananda Roy played, I said, I don't think my intelligence goes beyond this. Oh, Krishna. So then he sang a song. Alas, before we met, there was an initial attachment between us. Brought about by an exchange of glances. In this way, attachment evolved. That attachment has gradually grown and there's, now there's no limit to it. This mutual exchange of attraction is known as Manabhava or Cupid. This is Krishna speaking. I mean, Ramananda Roy is speaking, but he's speaking as Krishna is speaking. My mind and your mind have merged together. Мой ум и твой ум, они слились друг с другом. Now, but now during the separation, that attraction has increased to another ecstatic state. Но теперь из-за разлуки это состояние вошло в другое, в новое экстатическое состояние. And then Lord Chaitanya said, Yes, this is the limit of the goal of human life. И Господь Читания сказал, да, это предел совершенства человеческой жизни. Now being merciful upon me, please explain how this goal can be attained. И теперь, пожалуйста, будь милостив ко мне и скажи, как это совершенство можно обрести. And Ramananda Roy ex explained. И Рамананда Рай ответил. Only one who worships the Lord in the ecstasy of the gopis. Только тот, кто поклоняется Господу в экстазе гопи. Following in their footsteps. Следуя по их стопам. Can engage in the service of Radha and Krishna 
in the bushes of Vrindavan. There is no other procedure for understanding. In other words, one has to follow in the footsteps of the gopis. Therefore, one should accept the mood of the gopis in their service. In such a transcendental mood, one should always think of the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. After hearing this, Lord Chaitanya embraced Ramananda Roy. And both of them began to cry. And the entire night was passed in this way. So then the, the conversation goes on to a different, a whole different type of discussion. But we don't have time to go through that now. Next time. Следующий раз. Anyway, devotees, there you go. There's a little something for your Sunday program. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki. Sri Ramananda Roy ki. Sri La Prabhupada ki. Iskon Novosibirsk i Bersk Yatri ki. Hari Bal. So. <laughs> Hare Krishna, everyone. Всем Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Спасибо большое. And we look forward to meeting you in person before too long. И мы будем надеяться, что скоро мы увидимся друг с другом лично. Hare Krishna. Okay, that's it. Hare Rao. Bye-bye. Dasvidanya. Uvidamsa.